once again and I'll be sharing to you on how to solve problem involving simple stresses. So this time it could be eggshell, shearing or bearing stresses. So here is the problem. A hole is to be punched out from a plate and allowable stresses are given. <coughs> Figure is there also and here is the required. No? You are required to determine the maximum thickness of the plit when the whole diameter, this one, the whole diameter is equal to 100 mm. Can you apart there? Eh? That's 100 mm. You are required to find the thickness of the plit. In liter B, you are also required to give the smallest diameter hole when the thickness is the one which is given instead. Okay, so how to solve the problem? I collected the given, the given stresses. Then I take the required, which is the thickness, when the diameter is given. The figure is again presented because the other figure is on the other slides. No? So to make it convenient for us, so I put the fig uh, figure here. So if we consider finding the thickness of the plate to be removed, this one, on second the thickness and that, then it would be best for us to consider the shearing stress. Because in the shearing stress formula, there is a force V, this one, then over E. So, ang imong E will involve the unknown thickness. Now, let us try to consider instead if ang atong tanaw is the compressive stress. Kung ato ka sa compressive stress, the Compression of the panzer. So the compressive stress of which will depend on the applied force and its resisting force, P, and the section, the cross sectional area of the panzer. That means it does not include the thickness. So to go directly with the thickness, so I must go with the shearing stress. So stress is given, area. So, this to are known, thickness is the required. So, we have V in the numerator. The problem is, we don't have the value for V. That is why, we have to look for another option. I must again consider the compressive stress. So, is it possible to solve for a compressive for a force out from a compressive stress? If the stress is known, I can also have the area of the section of my panzer. Because if I know that the whole diameter is 100, no? so the diameter or the hole can be formed because of the panzer slug. Okay? No? So, I mong i-consider ang atong force out from the compressive stress of the panzer. And once you have the force out from that, then make use of that as the value of your V. Okay? So, I can start with the compressive stress. Yeah, eh? So, formula, this is given, we have P here, and kine. This is the area of a circular section of your panzer. If the diameter here is 100, yeah, so that is why I can arrive with the value of P. Ang atong stress is given in terms of megapascal unit, but since the diameter is expressed in mm, we know before that, megapascal is also the same as newton per square millimeter okay so that is 400 megapascal no the same no so ato lang we make it newton per square millimeter in order to have a unit the same as the unit for the area millimeter squared millimeter squared can be eliminated thus i obtain p expressed in terms of newton so here, I obtain value in Newton. At the same time, make it, adapt it as a value of your V. Okay? So, if there's a value for V, then I can go back to the formula. Kanina. So, there I have the formula. And from that formula, I can now substitute the values identified in the compressive stress. No? Now, 300 is the allowable for sharing stress, sharing of the as many plate, no? And then this one, this is the value of V, 
and area. What's the area? Kani. Asa man nga area imong kuhaon for the sharing area. This is the area that prevents sliding. Kay if there is a sharing stress and if there is a failure now taking place, if you go beyond the ultimate sharing stress of the plate, then the face the ray will actually slide over the other. So there is a sliding effect when there is a sharing failure na. No, so, most slide na siya down. So, this area here is the one resisting shear. And what is the area? The red. This is circumference. Then. And what is the area for circum circumference? That is pi d. So, pi diameter is known to be 100. Then you multiply with the thickness. I can eliminate Newton. I can have Oza. I can have mm. Ha? Yeah, millimeter squared. So, I can reduce now to mm. And the unit for your T will now come out to be in mm. So there I obtain the value for my for what is required in A. So we can proceed with unsa with letter B. Actually, the process will be the same. Only you are required to find the diameter instead of having the unsa thickness ganina. So it's the thickness that is known. It's the diameter which is the unknown. No, so diameter that is required so in the first example because there is a mention of a thickness ni so good ko og unsa ni so good ko og share stress but wa man tay share stress no so maltong ni so good ta og compressive stress for us to arrive with p and do we do the same no so out from this so my p can now be defined but the difference here Dili ko ka arrive with a specific value of p, but I can have p that is expressed in terms of diameter. Pasag di lang, may ngon na So that's a value po for your v. Once I have a value for v, then pwede na ko mabalik sa stress. Share stress, correct? Okay. For my share stress, I'm now ready to apply. So, dapat mauna ako unahon dito. Pero, wana na ko giuna because we know in letter A that it's not possible to go directly with this in the absence, uh, absence of a shear force. Correct? Okay, now. So, in the formula for shear stress, I can substitute the value. We have pila. 300 megapascal. And always observe that if we will be talking with megapascal, it would be the same if you will be using a unit newton per square millimeter. Nga nung akong gibutang og millimeter because my thickness is expressed in terms of mm. Na? So we have this. Na? So we have all the units, 100 pi d squared. So ganina, ang unit ko noana is newton per millimeter squared because it's dependent with this. Da? Okay, so we have newton per millimeter squared so that unit can be removed. So, there is D squared in the numerator if you take note, and there is D in the denominator side. So, which means I can reduce. No? Mawa na na siya. D na lang mahabilin, wala na na, na So, what is the value of the D left in the equation? The value is equal to 30 millimeter. So, that's the complete solution for the first problem. Now, we can proceed with number 2. The problem in number 2 involves a lap joint passing together with a rivet. Okay, so there you have a figure. You have the required. Okay, so 20 mm diameter rivet. Uh, 20 mm diameter rivet joins the plates. No, that are edge 110. And 110, this is the width. No, and the allowable stresses are 120 megapascal for the bearing and the plate. So, take note again, also itong bearing. Na? Bearing, stress, is when you have to contact, bodies in contact, there is a pressure develop at the contact point, no? or contact surface. Na? Then, we have, what's that? Shearing and the rivet. Shearing and the rivet. You are asked to determine the minimum thickness of the plate. Okay? The rivet has a diameter, so it has an area. It has a shearing force. You can possibly arrive with. It has uh, it has actually a shearing stress. I mean, so you can possibly arrive with a shearing force, right? Okay. 
So, uh, for the complete figure, then we have also letter B. Okay, so let us collect the given. Tanantang, balik. So, diameter of the rivet is known. Width of the plate, no? So, gine, allowable stresses for the bearing of the plate and 60 megapascal for the shearing of the rivet. What is required in A is the minimum thickness of the plate. Minimum thickness of the plate. This one, no? This is the thickness, na thickness there. Which is, kine, we do not know, no? Diba? The thickness there. So, what formula may be used? Because if I'm going to consider the sharing of the rivet, the sharing of the rivet, no? Kung imong kuha on yung sharing resistance, arin mo na dirin mo resist of share, no? Kaya kung there is a sharing failure, maputol ni diha, one face will act as a slide over the other. So, doon na mo kung na sliding effect. Kung mag failure, kung doon na sharing, no? So, mo slide na siya, kung maputol gina siya. Now, so, kung ari ko sa sharing stress, this one, with the allowable, so, sharing stress with an area, pwede ko kagawa o sharing force, pero I cannot go with the thickness. So, sharing or the thickness is dependent with the, with the sharing of the rivet. Now, that refers to the rivet itself. Now, but, if I'm going to go with the bearing in the plate, so, it may involve the thickness, maybe. Now, so, I have to go with the bearing of the plate. No? So, add to sa plate. Kaya thickness mo itong pangitaon. Okay, kung add ko sa searing, oh, wala may thickness mo gawas dito. So, again, formula. So, sa man yung PB? Bearing force. Kine? Searing? Ano? Not sharing, but what? Bearing. Stress. Eh? And bearing area. Now, this refers to force. There is a bearing stress. The area may be defined from the figure. So, ang atong area, bearing area, it will involve the unknown T. Kung magtahan ako sa gawa, masagay bearing force. Di ba? So, pariho ni ganina. No? We cannot proceed directly by just depending on the bearing stress. But instead, I'll be using the other allowable. The other allowable is the Sharing of the rivet. So, in the sharing of the rivet, no? allowable stress. No? So, I have to go kung unsay force which can be carried by the rivet. At the same time, when that is the force that can be carried by the rivet, muna akong gamiton para sa bearing force diri. No? Para it would also be safe for the plate. Okay? So, I can proceed with the Sharing force because I know that my bearing force is now equal to the shear force. No? Now. In the formula for shearing of the rivet, that is the formula. Stress, shearing stress with the area. We know this from the given. And again, that is 60 megapascal. O niya, 60 megapascal. Ato matong himo nga newton per square millimeter. Correct? So, why? Because the diameter is expressed in terms of mm. Pero gusto nyo nga mugawas ng newton per square meter. O mga magamit, ano, no? Pero just in case, you will be interested to use that unit. Because if that is 60 megapascal, what is the equivalent if we will be using newton per square meter? Mega means 10 to power 6, correct? So, 60 times 10 to power 6 newton per square meter. If that's the case, your area will also be expressed in terms of square meter. So, if that is 20 mm, so ni mo, what is the equivalent in terms of uh, meter? Divide by pila? 1,000? No? So, muna yung ipuli dili. Para, this can now be Newton meter squared and this is meter squared. Okay? Pero di tayo na, mas kuti mo na. So, di rin lang tayo nung magkuti-kuti mo ta. Aroon lang yun yun nung kabrahit tayo, no? So, di tayo, no? Arita ka nang mukha kuha tag answer dere so so it's easier to have this in newton millimeter squared because that is n mm so there i can have a value after knowing the value of v this is safe for sharing of the rivet then make use of this as the value of your own sign, pb ang imong bearing force no kon kanay imong gamiton meaning it would also be safe for bearing dere. Okay now. Substitute to the equation, first equation. 
So we have PB with this as the value. This is part of the given. This is the bearing area. Kaning na stupid, no? This one. What is the bearing area on the figure? This one. So kung ay mong bearing area, there is a contact between kine ribet man eh, no? Or a fastener, no? A ribet eh. So kung nadi ay ang contact surface between the plate and the ribet, no? What are you going to do to get the bearing area? We simply have to project this on the side of the plate, no? So if we project this, this is a width equal to the diameter, no? Then this is the thickness. This is the bearing area because this area is the one which will resist the bearing effect or the contact between the two bodies, no? So again, bearing area therefore is the diameter of the bolt, no? Multiplied with the thickness, okay? So, you are now ready to substitute. I have PB and my PB is V. Whose value is this one? Kine, 120. That's the given. And diameter of the bolt is 20. It's also part of the given here. Then, thickness. Okay? Kung sa may ma-eliminated, Newton is out. Correct? What else? This is out. Well, I can reduce. So, my meter is, I mean, limiter will be part of this expression. And that is your T. So, your T is in a unit of millimeter and the value of which is, so, doon na natay thickness, 7.854. That is the thickness of our plate. Now, in letter B, were you able to recall what do we need? In letter B, I think you are required to give the largest average tensile stress in the plate. Tension is produced when you have one two forces directed away from each other. So if there is a pole or a force there, yeah, so it will be counteracted with an internal resisting force which may be developed anywhere within the plate. Yeah? Yeah, nga na. So, kani, imagine na lang ha. May man mong imagination siguro, no? Kung bito sa una, may mong imagination. Pero talag sa na lang, no? Okay. <laughs> Tawin na, let's proceed. Dere, imo na nga. Bira pa doon ang lito. Then, muna, on sa? Doon na kay force nga mo counteract ana dere. Muna yung atong gitawag o internal resisting force which is tension. Kay, Ang effect ini karon nga force duha is to elongate the body. Now, tensile stress is when we have force with and sign with area. Okay? So, ang atong tension sa atong plate when we have force and area, asa man tong area gamiton, okay? Or ari ko dere, so what it means kaning area, di ba? Pero if you travel along diha, no? So by ka dere na ipart the ring and na i-ribet, no? So, sa ato, pag na ilungag, so, may, may tabuan na, so, ay, maayo, sir, maayo, God. Kaya na yung lungag niya, maayo kay kabutangan, man nag-ribet, correct? But, dili siya maayo as to the strength of the plate because that will tend to weaken the strength, correct? Now, the area here is much bigger compared to the area right here because of this opening, na? So, kung ang imong area, kung ang imong stress is force over area, kung dako og value ang imong area, gamay imo stress. Correct? Pero kung ari ka dure, ma-reduce man imong area. So, mo gamay imong area, nga naa sa denominator sa P over mayingag A. So, sa ato pa, mas dako ang stress on a point where there is an opening, there is a hole provided for the ribbed. So, if ever there is a failure or there is a fracture to occur in the plate, so it will happen on the weaker location. So which is there? So with the average, largest average tensile stress, so I must consider the location of the rivet. Because why? Na diha ang possible location of fracture on the plate, no? So due to tension. So how to obtain that one? The largest average tensile stress in the plate by formula is that one, correct? We have the given for this, no? Ah, given ba ni? Dile, solbo no nun ba ni, no? Okay, mo mo na yung required. Force and, ano saan? Area. Kung saan mo ito itong force? Ganyan yung nag-solve, mantag force, no? Nigamit ha sa force, kine? Asa mo ni na ito nakuha? 
we solve this from the shearing of the rivet and we use this for the atong gigamit sa asa bearing force this time ato sa gamiton for the tinsel force correct so this is now the tinsel force we divide it with unsa so many thickness nakasolve mo sa tag thickness ganina so mo na gigamit if we multiply that with 110 mm which is kana mo na gross area unta pero ang atong pag reduce by 20 mao ni siyang area or mao ni siyang naadere multiplied with the thickness so we are removing this area from the gross area because ang atong stress mo weaken magud ko naadere no so mo itong gigamit no so we have this one una kay na dakoan kay kun ari ka dere mas dako imong area so mas gamay imong stress mo produce correct okay so we have force area from thickness times the with minus the diameter of the bolt dere bolt dere ha so unit is in millimeter squared now we come up with newton per square millimeter and what is meant for that when we will be dealing with unit for stress newton per square millimeter is also known as mega pascal okay so that is the answer for number two and for this presentation so we have to stop until this part but there is a continuation of this on the next video so as of now thank you for watching but try to <coughs> follow the next video as a continuation and to conclude the different problems involving involving simple stresses thank you